All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Today is Sunday, 27th. Hopefully, everyone had a great small business uh, Saturday. Um, we're looking forward to Cyber Monday. And it just seemed like such a great time to be able to do um, you know, a little series on identity theft, which is the nation's fastest growing crime. So if you're just joining us, this is episode 10. And we've had uh, covered for the first three episodes, really, what is identity theft, the six different areas. Uh, then we went into and covered some of the facts. Then we went through, you know, kind of how people and why people are doing this crime, you know, who's doing it, why they're doing it. And then we transitioned a little bit into how they're doing it. Then we talked about some uh, risk reduction tips because you certainly can't prevent identity theft. And today we're going to talk about some responses. So um, if it does happen to you, um, you will want to act quickly, right? So you will want to call the police. You may have to go down and, um, you know, file a police report. Um, you'll want to contact all three repositories, putting in some states you can do fraud alerts. And, and like our state, we can do fraud freezes as well. You'll want to keep really careful logs of who you talk to, when you talk to them, what time you talk to them. And, um, you know, so you've got this really comprehensive log. And then you want to dispute any of these transactions in writing. And if you don't already have an early warning detection system in place, you want to. And what is that? monitoring. That's really what it means. Uh, it just means that you're going to be alerted that you're potentially in store for a nightmare. Um, but I'm going to share with you, you know, uh, this is if it happens. So when it happens, they say it's not if you're going to, uh, it's not if you're going to be a victim, but when you're going to be a victim of identity theft, just because the genie's kind of out of the bottle, our information is out there. So what were some of the responses that we saw out there on the market, right? So this is what we need to do. But we did see a couple of responses. And the first industry response that we really saw was something called a reimbursement policy. And really, all that is, is uh, it's usually attached to your homeowner's policy. It's often not available on a renter's policy. It's super economical. So I would definitely just ask your insurance uh, agent if you've got it on there. And if you do, um, great. If not, I would add it. Like literally, it's not going to cost a lot of money. And the victims, uh, unfortunately, though, even if you have the reimbursement policy, it just means they're going to reimburse you for some of the out-of-pocket expenses. It's certainly not going to reimburse you for any fraudulent charges. I don't know of anyone who would do that for you. Um, so prayerfully, your bank will do the right thing. But the problem with this is that really the cleanup is left to the victim. So they're going to do all the work, right? They're, they're going to put in their claims and um, no offense to um, some insurance, but insurance is often, and I used to sell it, uh, is often in the business of not paying. So they may have some disputes on it. They may, you know, deny some of that reimbursement, um, but any of the out-of-pocket expenses. So be sure to review your policy. And uh, if you have that and you do have my legal plan, um, then obviously you can have your attorney review it as well, just to make sure you know exactly what's covered uh, and, and what you're going to be left, uh, you know, for doing. And the most of the, the challenge with a reimbursement policy is that we're left really being able to have the full burden of clearing our good names. And you figure an expert took that information. It would probably make sense to have an expert help you really put it back together. Um, again, so reimbursement policies, they're just, you know, not proactive. It's after the fact, but I do think it's a great program. So I would highly recommend getting it if you're a renter and you, and you should definitely have renter's insurance. Um, but I would say, you know, check maybe your renter's policy now has it as well. Very economical. It's just smart to have that. So what did we come up with next? Well, the next industry response that we saw is really monitoring. And monitoring is a great first line of defense. I mean, let's face it. Um, it's the single best way to see if you've been a victim of identity theft. The challenge is most of them are just monitoring financial. And um, in some instances, if you think about it, uh, if you've ever been to like Las Vegas or been out of the country and you use your credit card, usually your credit card will have an alert that says, hey, was that you? And you're going to say, yep, that was me. Just go ahead and let it ride. And the good news is um, your credit card company should be doing that. They're protecting their own investment, which is why they alert you. So sometimes just having financial monitoring doesn't really do much, right? Because again, your financial institution should be kind of doing that for you um, because it's, it's their money on the line and they certainly don't 
they don't, they don't like losing it, let's face it. Um, they also, unfortunately, with monitoring services, they um, often only cover the accounts uh, that the company is offering as well. So, and then I think I talked about this before, we know that Experian had one of the biggest breaches ever uh, in the history of identity theft. And they ended up offering all of their victims their own service. I'm thinking to myself, not, that's cuckoo bird. You're the people that lost my information. Now you're going to start selling my information. Does anybody else see a problem with that? Shake your head this way. Yes. So that was a big challenge. And uh, monitoring services, quite frankly, just do that. They notify you that you have a potential nightmare um, and that the headache really starts. Now, they, they have said that it takes about 600 hours over the course of several years to be able to your identity yourself. So it does take a lot of time. Uh, and I, there was an article that I posted on my LinkedIn and it shows a woman in L.A. who was visiting in San Francisco and got her wallet stolen and just all the hassle that she's had to go through. Uh, luckily, they actually um, caught her perpetrator, which was very, very rare. And just it was a very true story about how identity theft can be a big challenge. Um, so if you're interested in that, you might want to read that as well, because that just really she had to pay, play her own uh, detective and do all of her own legwork. Oh, what a nightmare. Lasted quite a long time. The second, third industry response that we really saw was something called resolution services. Now, what is this? It provides a phone consultation. This is not to be confused with restoration services, okay? So resolution services, it just means that you call a help desk. There's somebody sitting there that probably has a flow chart. If this, then that. They're running through that. They're going to tell you, you know, exactly where to go, um, where to report it, what to do. But basically, they're actually not doing the work for you unless this is a great question to ask. So if you have an identity theft product and you think they're going to fix it for you, you probably have resolution. I only know of one that has restoration, which is the one that we offer. But I would ask them one thing. If I become a victim of identity theft, do I sign a limited power of attorney um, to have you fix it for me? And if they say no, then what you have is a resolution service, which isn't the end of the world. At least you've got, you know, preferably an expert or somebody who's been at least somewhat trained to be able to answer um, those questions and help you. But you're still left doing it yourself. OK. And then the fourth industry response that we came that came to the market was really restoration. And what is restoration? Well, restoration, I only know one company that does it, which is uh, the company I work for. And so I do offer ID Shield uh, to you as a viewer here today. It's uh, right there on the scrolling, kydeering.wearelegalshield.com. But what is restoration service? Well, it actually means like we provide a, uh, a licensed private investigator which is this is all they do. It's in-house for us. So we've got ultimate control over that. And these um, services can truly save, at least my members, thousands and thousands of dollars and hundreds and hundreds of hours of having to clear your own name yourself. And you figure in most cases a professional stole your information. It probably just makes sense to have a professional restore uh, your identity. And so that has been very helpful. I've been a victim of identity theft. Uh, I used their resolution services. They worked with me um, in regards to my financial uh, credit cards companies. They helped me answer questions. They told me exactly what to do. Um, and they did a lot of that work and the legwork for me. Now, that being said, um, I think that uh, it's interesting because we do have, in my opinion, the best answer. Uh, why? And this, you've been following me for 10 days now. This is the uh, educational uh, information about kind of the, the sales pitch, if you will. But I'm, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that I think the best answer is having a legal shield and ID shield plan. Why? Because 70% of people have some sort of a legal issue after they have been a victim of identity theft. So think about it. Um, maybe the credit card company doesn't want to uh, you know, change your uh, erroneous error back. Maybe they didn't get the memo and a letter from an attorney would help. Maybe you've been a victim of criminal identity theft that we went over and you need to hire an attorney. Um, maybe you've got questions about your insurance company because you bought the... Um, 
uh, program that's going to do reimbursement, right? So all of these are real legitimate reasons why somebody would also need access to an attorney. And so quite frankly, um, the best solution is to be able to have, in my opinion, um, let me get to the next slide here real quick, and it is stuck, uh, is really the full wall of protection. And what that looks like is a life events legal plan, also having a monitoring service, which is your best line of defense, and something that's monitoring things that actually matter. So not just your credit, but monitoring you know, quite frankly, all of your information um, so that you're able to be able to know exactly what's coming up. So it would monitor things like your passport, driver's license, not just your, um, you know, your credit information. And so uh, that's why I say it's really important that you have uh, really a program that not only uh, offers attorneys, but has the monitoring. That's the first one. And then, of course, being able to have the restoration as well. So what does the legal plan cover and what does um, that look like? Our legal plan is very robust. We have a personal plan and a business plan today. I'm going to talk to you about our personal plan. And for whatever reason, I'm not able to get the screen to show. So let's see if I can get it to show. Otherwise, you're just going to have to follow along with me, which is, let me see if I can delete it, remove from studio. There we go. So what it does is it's unlimited consultation, documents reviewed, letters and phone calls written on our members' behalf as well. So um, for instance, you could pick up the phone, talk to an attorney, find out what your rights are, uh, have any kind of documentation. Maybe you received something from the IRS and you had questions about it. You didn't know what it was. Um, from you know, if you were a victim of that, you want to make sure it was legit. And then, if it's appropriate by law, they'll fire off a letter, make a phone call on um, our member's behalf. Very, very, very powerful. There's also um, some one offs that we provide as well, which would be, for instance, um, let's just say that you had, let me see if I can pull it up for you real quick. Um, so let's just say, for instance, there's some one-offs that we do as well, which would be getting your estate planning instruments done. So we'll also do the will, the drug have attorney, healthcare directive, uh, all included in the membership. We will also provide for you, if you get a traffic ticket, we'll go to court with you or for you, and we cover the member, uh, the member's spouse, kids living at home up to the age of 26, never married, full-time college students, also up to the age of 26, never married. And anyone that you're the legal guardian for up to the age of 18 and any physically or mentally challenged children that are living, um, you know, under your roof covered for life. So that's who's covered for the membership. We will also help you out in the event that, let me see if I can pull this up for you really quick. Nope, I cannot. <laughs> so that's okay. So I will also share with you that we will help you out. Um, with the IRS. So if you get audited, we'll give a schedule of hours. We will also help out uh, in the event that you were sued. We'll give a schedule of hours there as well. So very, very robust. And that plan is basically a dollar a day. It's $99.95. Now, when you pair that, so that's a great service right then and there. And when you pair that with an identity theft plan, and again, that program things that matter, your social driver's license, it'll give you alerts in real time right on the app on your phone. If it's not, you ignore it. If it is, you just simply tap the app. You'll be talking to a licensed private investigator. We'll go to work on your behalf and do the work with you and for you to be able to combat, you know, tax return, identity theft, medical claims, social security, credit cards, driver's license, and all that good stuff. Because that's the one crime where you're actually guilty until proven innocent, unlike any other crime that is out there. So I really appreciate that not only are we the monitoring is an alert, but we're going to do a comprehensive restoration provided for you by a licensed private investigator that's going to do whatever it takes as long as it takes to restore our members back to pre-theft status. Now, they need to have the membership in force prior to the incident occurring. Otherwise, there is a fee to be able to do that, as you can imagine, right? You can't get in an accident and then call your auto insurance and say, hey, fix my car, right? It just doesn't work like that. We also, uh, on that plan, will offer up to a million dollars in um, reimbursement as well. So any out-of-pocket, um, let's say you did that, 
with your other homeowners, a great program there. So you'll notice we have all the solutions there, everything from reimbursement to restoration, right, to monitoring, to the legal plan. We've got it all. And so you might be asking, well, okay, um, how does that work? We also have some additional proactive things on there. We partner with Trend Micro. So in addition to all those identity theft things that are reaction, we are going to be able to um, have anti-malware on multiple devices for our members. We're also able to provide them with password um, uh, for password management system, as well as a VPN proxy, which encrypting information while you're on risky Wi-Fi. I think I mentioned in a previous episode that I was at a cybersecurity event where they mentioned that the number one problem is um, with corporate breaches is the fact that employees are at, you know, home working on risky Wi-Fis and not having great password managers. And those will charge $10 a piece for that. Well, I'm proud of our program. Um, only charges $19.95 if it's one person, $34.95 to cover an entire family. We cover the same people that would be covered on the legal plan, but only monitoring up to the age of 18. After that, they'll still be covered with the restoration and all that good stuff, but it's illegal to uh, you know monitor an adult child information. So that's the program that we offer. If you purchase them together, it's about $50 for a single, it's about $65 for a family. Um, what's really great is it unlocks like a third kind of program, which will help, um, you know, kind of like uh, with credit, not repair, but uh, help you get your, your credit score up, help you put together a budget, help you really do things um, financially that will help with um, getting your credit back on track. And there's been a lot of people that have had some issues going on since COVID. Maybe they haven't been able to work, that kind of things. Maybe they can pay their mortgage. So we're able to give them some advice and consultation and give them um, some credit um, counseling type information to be able to put that back on track. So that's what we do. And if you want to go to kydeering.wearelegalshield.com, you can check it out. Tomorrow, we're going to go over uh, really how this affects corporations, and it's up 300% ransomware as well as cyber attacks. So that's what we're going to go over tomorrow because I figure it's Cyber Monday. What a great day to um, finish out the uh, episodes tomorrow and talking about the exposure with um, corporations and small businesses. So with that, I want to thank you. Take care. Take charge. Appreciate you listening. I will see you over the top. Bye-bye.